welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Nicole A. So today I am doing another braided twisted wig. So this unit was sent to me by Weekling and I already did uh, a review for them in the past. It was their color 1B. And so today we are doing a 1B 30 color. So again, this is the box from Weekling and inside the box is the unit. So as you can see, it has that 1B 30 color. Also in the box is this little satin bag. And I actually saw someone else uh, do a review on this unit and how they utilize this bag is when they slip in the unit, they put the ends in this bag and then just um, tied it up like this, which was really interesting. I thought that was really innovative. So also in the box is wig cap but as you can see i already have one on my head and i attempted to do the bald cap method if you want to see how i did this then you can check out the previous video that i did for the twisted wig i'm going to link it down in the description box below also came these beautiful decorations for this unit so let's just get into the specs and then i'll go ahead and throw it on so again, this is from We Queen and it is a twisted braided cornrow unit. Color is 1B30. Um, it is 28 inches long. So it's a very long unit. Also, it's twisted all the way to the end, which is really nice. Um, the price is $121.49. So super reasonable. You'll definitely spend a lot more buying hair and um, going to a braider and getting this done on your regular hair. Um, it's 100% premium synthetic hair. It is a glueless braided unit and it has an elastic band. Last time the unit did not have an elastic band, which I thought was weird, but this one definitely has one. I'm going to show you the inside construction in just a moment. And the lace is a 13 by five Swiss lace. So as far as the actual unit, so there is the 13 by five Swiss lace. So it is lightly tinted to a brown color and has the baby hairs. So inside the unit, two combs on the side, one comb in the back, also has adjustable straps and the elastic band. So also let me note that the lace, as far as the knots on this lace, it looks a lot better than that uh, 1B color unit. And that's just because the hairs on this unit are lighter. So I think that's really nice. So I am gonna go ahead and install this and I will be back and then we'll do a couple of styles. All right, so first step is for me to cut off the lace in the front of this unit. It's a lot easier for me to cut off the lace while the unit is off of my head rather than on. So that's what I'm doing, just cutting off the lace. So now I have all of the lace off and as you can see, I got as close to the hairline as possible. So now I'm just going to put the unit on my head, putting that elastic band around the back of my head and adjusting the unit to my head. One thing about this unit is it does not have necessarily designated ear tabs. So here I am just trying to adjust, taking my ears from under the unit and adjusting it as much as I can. So now I am going to work on the baby hair. So I am just going to pluck some of these out because I want the baby hairs to be as light as possible. So I'm just taking my tweezers and plucking out some of those hairs. It was taking a little too long, so I did end up just pulling some out. And now I'm just taking my tiny scissors and cutting those down in length. I was not planning on gluing this unit down, but due to the way it fits on my head, I feel like I have to, to secure it. So I'm just taking some Gots To Be Glue gel and just putting that all around my hairline. So now I'm just taking my blow dryer and drying the gel just enough where it's tacky to secure the lace. Also, this is one of the best blow dryers that I have ever had. I'm gonna put a link down in the description box below so you can make sure to check it out. 
So now that I feel like the gel is dried just enough, I'm gonna pull the lace down over the gel and then take my blow dryer and dry some more. So now that the unit is secure, it's time to revisit those baby hairs. So I'm just combing those down with my comb and then I'm gonna take some Nairobi styling foam and put that around the baby hairs. And now I'm just brushing those into place with my little edge brush. So that is it for this install. So let me go ahead and give you all a close up and then all angles. All right guys, so I am back. So I did end up gluing down the front so just because I wanted it to lay better. And because this unit kind of fits a little weird on me. And that's just because the ear tabs do not fall where my actual ears are. So that's, that was the case with the last unit they sent me and this case with the same um, unit just in a different color. So I'm gonna show you what the ears look like here. So as you can see, they're folded down because the lace in the front is so long. And usually with um, just a regular lace front unit, you can kind of cut off the extra lace in the front to kind of make it fit the perimeter of your hairline. But with this unit, since it is a braided unit, you really can't cut into it like you would a normal lace front, um, or I feel like you would just ruin the unit. So that is a bummer, but I love this color. Like I love this more than the 1B color. This is really, really pretty. And I did go ahead and add some uh, of the accessories, and I just added a few of them but look how much is left. They send you a ton of jewelry. So I'm gonna do some styles and then I will be back and we can finish off this video. All right guys, so for the first style, I'm just gonna gather some hair at the top and secure it with an elastic band for a half up, half down. Next style, I'm just gonna twist the hair from the ponytail around for a top knot with the rest down. Next style, I'm just gonna flip the hair over to one side for a flip over. Next style, I'm going to leave the hair flipped over to one side and bring the remainder of the hair over to that same side and secure it with an elastic band for a side ponytail. For this last style, I'm just going to part the hair down the middle and I'm going to make two ponytails. So to secure the ponytails, I'm just going to take a couple of twists and twist it around that hair and then tuck it into the twisted part. Right, guys so that is it for the styles also I do want to show you the back so in between just see what this unit looks like so it is twisted on tracks so this is the end of the review for this unit so again this unit was sent to me by we queen hair it is a twisted unit it has flat twists in the front and then individuals in the back this is 28 inches long and um, 
I love this unit. I absolutely love it. The only drawback for me personally is just the ear tabs do not fall where my ears are. So I can't really lay the lace um, right here like I really want to. Um, so it kind of limits my ability to style this unit. I don't know, but it just doesn't fit me personally. So I'm able to wear it just covering up the ears and I absolutely love it. So $121, definitely worth the price because you would definitely spend more going to a salon and sitting in someone's chair. So definitely recommend this. I'm gonna put all the links down in the description box below as far as this unit. Um, I have a couple playlists, make sure you check that out as well. Also, I'm gonna put down in the description box the previous unit that I reviewed for them, which was the 1B color. So that is it. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all next time.